Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org, back with another video for the new Boston. Now, in the last tutorial, we looked at left join, and I used left join for this example where we're returning a name with a pet um, on the end. So we're saying um, here, down here, where the result was from this query, we've said Alex has a cat, Alex has a fish, and Dow has a dog. Now, what happens if we go into um, pets here, and we're going to delete the entry for Dale? So people ID 2 was Dale. Let's go ahead and delete that. And uh, let's uh, run this query again. Let's paste it in there and we'll click go. Now you'll see that we've returned um, Dale and null next to pet. So this is useful, the left join is useful, for returning the name of the person, because the uh, the table we used on the left was the name, um, even if there are no values in pet. So what we've essentially done here is said, if there are, if there even if there are no entries in the right table, which is which is pet, uh, still return the name um, of the left hand side uh, table which is name. Now the reason this is useful is because in PHP if we were to run this we'd need to know if the user had no pets at all. This would save us using um, PHP um, num rows because we would just uh, equal, say if the pet equals null then obviously this user has no pets whatsoever. So uh, we've used the left join for this. Now what happens if we were to use uh, join on its own? So uh, let's go into SQL tab and let's go and paste this in here. Now instead of using left join I'm going to just use join. Let's go click go and see how this differs. Now you'll see that we've removed the result Dale. The reason that we've removed the result Dale is because um, we have uh, we're using the join uh, which will only return uh, values that equal or that are found um, based on this on here so we're saying if people ID um, equals pets dot people ID so we're returning using the join only values that exist in in each table so we're not saying does it only exist in the left table or does it only exist in the right table we're saying does it exist in both tables so now what we're doing is we're only returning uh, the data where the left table matches the right table so why could this be useful well we might want to inside of our PHP program eventually when we're executing this query or running this SQL query we might want to say we only want values where someone actually has a pet Whereas before in the left join we looked at where Dale didn't have a pair, we want to just say uh, with the join only return results where user has a pet or where name has a pet, the, the person has a pet. So in this case we've returned two rows where Alex has a cat and Alex has a fish. So now you can see the use of the join on its own as opposed to the left join where, it, where we're returning um, we're returning a value even if the user on the um or the user doesn't have a value in the right hand table so this on is really important because what we're doing is we're um, making the comparison at this point so the comparison could be any operator but for now it's people.id equals pets.peopleid so we're matching from the left and the right and if we don't match we're not returning the values with the join